Well, CB Cotton, thank you so much for that. Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle will appear before the House Oversight Committee on Monday. Florida Republican Congressman Mike Waltz is preparing his questions now. Congressman, welcome to the program and thank you for being here. Many people are saying if she doesn't resign, President Biden should fire her. What do you think we'll hear on Monday? And do you think it will change the tone of how this is going? Because so far, people aren't convinced that Kim Cheadle's up to the job. Well, I would have fired her just in her botched handling in dealing with the public since the assassination attempt. She should have been the very first person to come to the microphones, reassure the public, assure the world that uh, that her agency is going to do everything possible to get to the bottom of what happened. Clearly something went wrong. And then I would have expected to see her and the FBI director and DHS giving or their representatives giving daily press conferences, updating the public, letting them know what the latest is, because in, in this type of environment and the vacuum of information is where conspiracy theories, where uh, the, the public has a right to know 70 right. million people voted for the president. And then secondarily, uh, what what I want to know is clearly there was a breakdown in what they call the advance work that would have been done out of the Pennsylvania or the excuse me, the Pittsburgh Secret Service field office. And, uh, you know, how did that how did, how was the um, where the sniper was shooting to towards that building? How was that obstructed? Mm -hmm. How did you have dead space where you couldn't see with the slope? How was that building outside of the perimeter yet so close? And were this is the key question Were additional Secret Service resources requested and then denied because I'm being told by agents directly that more broadly, they've been requesting more for President Trump over the last few years. Yeah. And they've been denied for budget reasons. And she hasn't been quick to answer many of these questions at the RNC. She was uh, confronted by some Republicans asking her many questions, but she remained silent. What we've heard from her so far, you mentioned the slope on the building where the shots came and the shooter was positioned. The slope on the roof argument is really difficult to swallow for many people. And we were just talking to the Michigan GOP chair, asking him what preparations will be made for security for today's rally. A lot of people would like to hear from Kim Cheadle to hear, what are you doing to improve the situation and make it better? It was, it was unco unconscionable and completely inappropriate for her to come to such a public environment, the RNC commit, uh, convention, having yet answered any question about an assassination attempt days prior and then you know to have senators having to kind of chase her down just to get basic questions answered by the way they held a phone call and they wouldn't allow uh, really any questions there either and then cut the senators off so this is the exact opposite of the transparency that is needed. Like I said, I would have just fired her on how she's handled it since the assassination attempt, much less what the investigation uh, un uncovers. And then finally, there's broader questions like we know that he had overseas encrypted accounts and platforms. What was that all about? Yeah. Was that uh, was that coupled in any way with the with the increasing Iranian threat? We don't know. How did he scope the site and recon the site three times? before the actual rally occurred. So uh, it's uh, I, everybody tune in on Monday because we're going to do everything. We're going to get to the bottom of it. And the Congress is going to put a spotlight on this tragic failure. Well, the American people want answers and they're not going to want to hear answers months and months later. They want to hear them now. They want to feel our country is secure. And Congressman, you know, we give billions of dollars in humanitarian aid to other countries and we we help other countries fight wars. We spend a lot of money, taxpayer money in this country. If resources are an issue, as you may be suggesting, we want to get to the bottom of it. Why these resources weren't allocated. We so appreciate your time. Final word. Final point. We gave we Congress gave her a big budget plus up just last year. Where did that money go? Congressman Mike Waltz, thank you so much. Good to see you. Thanks.